Today we are going to draw a mandala and here are some supplies that you will need to draw along with me. I have a pack here of different stencils. Um, these you might find handy but they are not necessary in the drawing process. Um, you will need a ruler and you can use either a wood ruler or one of these plastic rulers. So you'll need one of those. You will need a pencil and it needs to be a nice sharpened pencil um, for us to work with the compass. You will need one of these types of compass. So this is an old school compass. Um, you probably have seen them before. You're going to uh, adjust the lines on here. And to begin, you wanna make sure that your pencil and the point are lined up at the end. You may also have one of these new compasses. I'm going to show you how to use this compass. And then you also need a protractor so we can mark our degrees of our circle. So the first thing I do before I get started on my white piece of paper is I mark the center. So here is gonna be my center. It doesn't have to be the exact center of your paper, but I always like to mark the center so I know where to put my compass. So if you're using a compass like this, again, as I said, make sure that these uh, two things, the point and the pencil are lined up and you're going to put your point right here on the place where you have marked the center. And we're going to draw a circle around our paper. Some people might think that it is easier to go uh, to use the compass and go around. Other people, like myself, I actually like to turn the paper instead of turn the compass. So we have our first circle. Um, I'm going to do another one a little bit bigger. So I'm happy I marked that little point so I can put um, my point in it again. And I'm going to make another circle. And as again, I thought it was easier to turn the paper and keep my hand still, but uh, you decide what you would like to do. Uh, we are making what is called concentric circles. And concentric circles in math are circles that go around and they have the exact same point of origin. So if you're using a compass like this, um, this little grommet in the middle, you want to line up to be your point. And then these white uh, circles that go around, you wanna find one that your finger sits in and it's gonna be stable while this compass moves around. And then this compass, all of the lines are actually marked on it. Um, so I can put my pencil in any of the dots and I can move it around. I move it around so it goes all the way around. And I want a smaller one, so this is the one inch one right here. There we go. So you can see that I have um, four concentric circles. You can do um, another couple if you would like to, to make this bigger. You can do a smaller one right here in the center. It really is yours to design. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a a straight line right across the horizon of my of my concentric circles and horizon lines go across not up and down so I've drawn that line and that line is going to help us because I am going to use my protractor here and I'm going to mark it off for my degrees. So I'm gonna mark every 30 degrees. So here is 30, so I'm gonna make a little dash right there. And then I'm gonna make a dash at 60, and make one at 90, make one at 120, make one at 150, and then the next one is here at 180, that is my horizon line. So you can see there's one, two, three, three sections, and then three sections in between, so that's why I have marked it every 30 degrees. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this around to the other side, and I'm going to place that dot right there in the very center. Make sure that this line of my protractor is on my horizon line, which it is. 
and I'm going to mark the 30, the 60, the 90, the 120, the 150, and then the 180 is already marked with this horizon line. And now I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to line up both of my 30s. So here was my 30 and there was my 30 and I want to make sure that it's going right across my center line. Then I'm going to do my 60s. And as I'm doing this, I'm actually cutting my circle into pie shapes. I'm going to come up with 12 pie shapes. Okay, so you can see that I basically, I have 12 sections. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I got back to my, where I started. So I have 12 pie shapes here. Um, and this is just going to help me outline and decide what I'm gonna do for my mandala. So I'm gonna treat each one of these sections the same. So if I decide to do a squiggle line from one side up here to the other. I'm gonna do that on each one of those sections, kind of the exact same way. There is no reason to hurry. You can go nice and slow and you can design your mandala any way you would like to. I have finished drawing my mandala. I drew it light with a pencil, and now I'm going to go over it with a pen. So you have one of these pens, or you can use a Sharpie to ink your lines. Then I'm going to take an eraser. I'm going to erase all of my pencil lines, and then it's time to fill it in. You can fill it in with any colors that you would like to, uh, crowns, color pencils, um, markers, all of those work great. You can use traditional watercolors to fill it in. I am going to be using watercolor pencils. So these look like color pencils. Um, they're going to act like color pencils, but then all I have to do is add a paintbrush with some solid water, uh, just some tap water, and um, it will turn into watercolor paint.